What is up, folks? This is what it feels like outside. Huh. Not too bad. Welcome back to the historical Jesus resurrection fact or fake. Jorge Nito here, and we are talking about the five facts that are agreed upon by scholars, virtually and generally, scholars who study New Testament material agree on at least five facts concerning the resurrection of Jesus of Nazareth. We're going to go over those um, in the upcoming videos, but those five facts that are agreed upon by virtually all New Testament scholars, skeptics, atheists, Christian scholars of all walks, the five things that they say, hey, these are historically accurate. These are this. Why the resurrection? Yeah, Easter's coming up, but wh wh why is this so important? Why care about this? And even before we even think about that, you ever just stand back and like ask what a Christian believes as a Christian? As Christians, should, do we ever just stand back and ask ourselves or think about what it is that we say that we're believing? I mean, think about this. We claim to believe in some carpenter from a no-name town in a country that's surrounded by desert. We believe that this guy is the incarnation of God himself. Not only that, but that he was killed and then raised back to life. We better have some darn good reasons for believing something like this. And believe it or not, there are tons of reasons. And it's crucial to the Christian. It's crucial to the Christian worldview. It's, it's at the core of Christianity. Um, the resurrection, without the resurrection, all of Christianity falls apart. And even Paul, the Apostle Paul himself in the Bible, 1 Corinthians 15, 17 through 19, uh, goes into arguing for the resurrection. He makes a couple, couple statements. He says, look, if Christ has not been raised, if he hasn't raised, then our faith is meaningless. We are still in our sins, and we of all people should be pitied the most. It's absolutely crucial to understand uh, resurrection doctrine, not only that, but uh, to consider all the evidence that we have for it, the lines of reasoning. Guys, this is why I'm introducing this into the Historical Jesus playlist. Number one, that Jesus died by crucifixion by the hand of Pontius Pilate. Two, a group of Jesus women followers found the tomb empty. The third fact is early independent attestation claiming to have saw the risen Jesus, or in other words, post-mortem experiences. Four, the enemies of Jesus converted, such as James, the brother of Jesus, and Saul of Tarsus, who would later become Paul. Five, the persecution and martyrdom of the apostles. These are five pieces of data that scholars agree that, hey, this stuff is historical fact. And so whether we like it or not, um, we have to then take into account these five facts and ask ourselves what best explains these facts. And mind you, there are several theories. Um, at least seven theories proposed by um, scholars in the field, and we'll go over these theories um, in upcoming videos. We'll discuss other pieces of evidence and lines of reasoning as well, uh, but our main focus is these five. We'll also introduce uh, Gary Habermas' minimal facts argument, where he takes just the bare minimum that scholars agree to, I mean just the very minimum, and, set, and presents an argument. We'll look at that. We'll look at um, some debates. I'll point you uh, to some interesting information. Guys, this is the historical Jesus continued 
uh, Resurrection Edition. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you back here soon. Stay safe.